Hey everyone, what is going on? So the Great League Season 6 has been announced. Not only has it been announced, but it began. So I am doing one of my graphs. You guys seem to love it. So I am going to go ahead and do one for the Great League Season 6. Now I have done the Great League in the past, but things change. Uh, not much, honestly. I mean, we still have like the same powerful Pokemon. There might be a few differences here and there. But for the most part, it stays the same. But nonetheless, I know you guys want to continue to see it. So I might do this for each season. I might do a Great League Season 7. I don't really know yet. I haven't decided. But either way, we have a, a lot of great content coming to you guys. We have the Great League. We have the Ultra and Master League. We have the Master Classic. We have the Premier Cups. We have the Holiday Cup. So I'm going to do charts for all of that. And I'm also going to do a chart or a graph maybe for each event. Let me know if you continue to uh, want to see this kind of content. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and take a look at the Great League Season 6. And again, not much has changed. But uh, we'll take a look at it and see what we've got. So for my S plus tier, we have that Galarian Stunfisk. This Pokemon is pretty much a guaranteed. It's not a guaranteed, but it's on like everybody's team. It's so powerful. Honestly, there's really not many great answers to it. I mean, fighting types are strong against it. But even then, it's still doing a lot of damage with like Earthquake. Charges up super fast, Mudshot, Rock Slide, and Earthquake. So... Definitely number one. I think it's the best Pokemon in the Great League and soon to be the best in the Ultra League, honestly, I believe. But nonetheless, definitely the best Pokemon in the the Great League meta. There's no doubt about it. I love this Pokemon and you know I'll be using this one. So uh, moving on, we have a staple, a Zoomel. So we've seen this one since the beginning. It's been out since Go Battle League began. It's been out for a long time. Definitely very powerful. It's powerful in many Silpharina Cups. You could go with pretty much any moveset you want. I mean, Bubble obviously has the fast move, and then there's Hydro Pump, Play Rough, and Ice Beam. So you can go Ice Beam, Play Rough, Play Rough, Hydro Pump, Hydro Pump, Ice Beam. You could really mix it up however you want. I personally, at this point in time, like Ice Beam and Play Rough, but Hydro Pump is good as well to hit those Pokemon like Alolan Marowak and Stunfisk. But uh, nonetheless, we're going to go ahead and move on to um, a Shadow Machamp. So Shadow Machamp is probably the best fighting type in the Great League. Uh, it's absolutely powerful. It charges up to Cross Chop so fast. Five counters to get to it. Rock Slide provides coverage to the flying types. Uh, it's really a powerful Pokemon. Uh, also, like Alolan Marowak, again, at least it could have some play against it. So... Definitely a very powerful Pokemon, as you guys know. We're going to move on to Defense Deoxys. Um, yeah, really great Pokemon. What can I say? I mean, you guys know it. Uh, it's really a safe switch. Uh, I love using Defense Deoxys as a safe switch. It, it could function in the lead, but I personally like it in the back. And if I lose the lead, I could switch into it. Obviously, there's some answers to it. For example, Umbreon. But it's still taking super effective damage with Counter. Uh, you know, that um, Galarian Stunfisk is resisting all the charge moves coming out from Deoxys, but the counter, again, is super effective. So even its counters, it's still doing pretty good against. Uh, so next up, we have Shadow Swampert or the regular Swampert, either one. We know how fast Hydro Cannon is and how powerful it is. Enough said, right? So it definitely deserves the S plus rating. Definitely a powerful pick. A uh, great Pokemon at that. Uh, so moving on, we have the S tier. We have Shadow, Obama, Snow. I guess you could use the regular one. I personally like the Shadow one. But yeah, super powerful. Uh, super fast getting to that Weather Ball as well. So Energy Ball obviously provides good coverage. So does Weather Ball. Great Pokemon. I have used this quite a bit. So moving on to Registeel. I was thinking about putting this in the A tier, uh, but it's still a really good Pokemon. You don't see it as much nowadays, right? Uh... Probably because of the nerf, obviously the nerf did a lot to it, plus Galarian Stunfisk was released, but, you know, ever since it got that nerf with both of its charge moves, it still has a place in the meta, but it's not used as frequ as frequently, uh, so definitely a good one, but not <coughs> as common, excuse me. Moving on to Skarmory, great Pokemon, we see it all the time, you could, I guess, go with the Shadow variant, I have never faced a Shadow Skarmory once, I've never seen one, but definitely a good Pokemon. Shadow Hypno or the regular Hypno, both of them are really good and have great coverage confusion with usually Thunder Punch and it could have another Elemental Punch like Fire Punch. I like Fire Punch and Thunder Punch in the open Great League, but Shadow Ball is another option. Even Focus Blast, Ice Punch, I mean all of the moves are great. 
So moving on to Dugan, you need two elite TMs in order to get a legacy Dugan, a double legacy Dugan. It has Ice Shot and Icy Wind, both of those it can no longer learn outside of the elite TM. So you do have to elite TM this Dugan if you do want to go ahead and use it. But it is very powerful, it debuffs your opponent. Uh, so I love this one as a lead. So definitely as a lead in my opinion, I like it. Moving on to the A tier, we do have Mantine. Now Mantine is... A pretty fun Pokemon, I mean it's definitely really good, it has Bubble Beam so that debuffs your opponent's attack. It's a weak move, but it's also a powerful one, and it's a powerful one in the sense that it debuffs them, so. Uh, it also has Ice Beam, which I think I like that move set. Uh, it gets Aerial Ace, but I like Ice Beam Bubble Beam for this open Great League. So moving on to Scrafty, probably the second best fighting type. Uh, that's debatable, I guess, but it's definitely a really powerful one. It gets walled by Azumel based on its moves, but other than that, it does really well with all of its moves, you know? <laughs> really powerful. Uh, it does well against pretty much everything else besides Azumel. Uh, well, obviously not Charm uses, but, you know, in general, as long as it stays away from Fairy types, it's a good, solid pick. Uh, it could even have some play against like flying types like Skarmory because it's dishing out neutral damage and plus it's continuing to buff itself with power up punch. Uh, so Bastiodon, I know a lot of people don't like this Pokemon because of the double razor leaf teams but it's still a really solid pick at the moment so Bastiodon definitely has huge play uh, on those double razor leaf teams but even if it's not, uh, it's still really solid. Uh, so moving on to Shadow Victory Bell. And Shadow Victory Bell is definitely, uh, obviously, a Pokemon. Again, I don't think many people like Seen because of the Bastiodon Double Razor Leaf team. So a lot of people don't like this Pokemon. Uh, but it just dishes out so much damage with Razor Leaf, with the fast move pressure it puts on. It's so good. Uh, as long as, even if the Pokemon resists it, it's still doing a lot. Or at least a good amount of damage. It really only doesn't do that much if is if the Pokemon is like double resisting it or triple resisting it. Other than that, I mean, it's doing a lot of damage. We all know it. So moving on, we have Tropius. This is a regional, so you basically have to trade for it unless if you live in a region where it's not uh, spawning natively. But uh, Tropius, I like it has Razor Leaf, so another Razor Leaf option. But I do like the Air Slash variant. So hey, I mean, powerful Pokemon, great pick. Uh, it's going to be able to wall quite a few Pokemon, for example, that Victory Bell, so it does wall that. Definitely really solid. Um, yeah, this is a great one. Uh, it loses to the other flyers like Alteria and Skarmory, but uh, it's it's a really good pick, and it charges up pretty fast with Air Slash. Uh, so moving on to the other choices. So we have Alteria. Now this was amazing before Goliath and Stunfisk came out, but ever since it that Pokemon came out, you don't see Alteria as often. It's still good, so it could go up in rank, maybe to the A tier, but I put it in other choices. Still really good, but it's a Pokemon you don't see as frequent as you used to. Uh, at least I don't. I don't know about you guys. Uh, Toxicroak, another great fighting type, as well as Surfetched. Uh, Surfetched, I think, actually beats Azumel because it has Leaf Blade, so a really powerful Pokemon. As for Toxicroak, We've seen the power, the sheer power of Toxicroak. I think Shadow Machamp generally overshadows it, but it, it still is a good Pokemon, and you could definitely see, I mean, it's going to go down fast to a Confusion user like Hypno, but uh, still a very powerful uh, fighting type, both of them, you know, Toxicroak and Surfetched. Uh, Cresselia, this Pokemon is more so seen in the, um, in the Ultra League than it is the Great League, but it does have some play in the Great League. Um, I mean, it's really tanky, it's tanky in the Great and Ultra, so definitely has some play. Meganium is another great one, I've used that on Caleb Pang's Double Grass team, so with Shift Tree, so definitely a great Pokemon, a great pick. Uh, Metacham is another great fighting type if you want to go. There's so many good fighting types in this format in the Open Great League. We have several of them. So another really good one. Um, yeah, that, that's all I can say. I mean, it's really good. I, it could have... All of its moves are pretty much good. I mean, Power Punch, Dynamic Punch, Ice Punch, Psychic. So it, it's really a guess at which moveset it has. Uh, Vigoroth is a great one. Body Slam, Spam, you guys know the drill. Gets to the moves pretty fast. So Umbreon... Last Resort is a Community Day move, but it's a great Pokemon. It charges up really fast. Uh, so with Foul Play, Stall, really powerful Pokemon, really tanky as well. So it could be a great surprise to those people that have Hypno or Defense Deoxys, where it just does a lot of damage with Foul Play. Uh, Munchlax is a great pick. Lick and Body Slam charges up really fast. 
I believe it has Bulldoze too, doesn't it? But uh, I think that's the moveset. Uh, Shift Tree is, as I mentioned, the double grass team. Great Pokemon. So Snarl with uh, Leaf Blade and Foul Play charges up really fast. I mean, it gets to Leaf Blade in three Snarls. It's absolutely insane. So uh, it could even beat things that go head-to-head -head with things that generally beat it like Skarmory, right? So really great pick. Moving on, we have Ferrothorn. So Ferrothorn is another really great option. With It walls Azumarill completely. It's taking neutral, I guess, from the Ice Beam, but uh, for the most part, it walls it. Uh, Wigglytuff or any Charm user uh, as the last spot. And keep in mind, there's other Pokemon you could use that I didn't even put on here, like Alolan Marowak, for example, which is a really good one. Venusaur is good as well. Uh, so there's other Pokemon. These are not the best, like the only good ones that you could use. You could definitely use other Pokemon, but um, just wanted to point that out. Anyway, Moving on to the solid team options, we have three Pokemon from the S Plus here. We have Glorian, St Stunfisk, Azumel, and Defense Deoxys. So you have two safe switches in the back uh, because Azumel and Defense Deoxys are pretty much safe switches to come in. Then we have Dugon. As I said, I like it as a lead with Ice Shot, Icy Wind to debuff the opponent. Azumel and Shadow Machamp. And then we have a team that I'm probably going to be using to start off the season. Tropius with Air Slash, Glorian Stunfisk, and Defense Deoxys in the back. So, two relatively safe switch-ins. The Defense Deoxys is definitely the safe switch-in. Uh, so is Stunfisk in a way, because even if they counter switch with Azumel, that is a good answer. That is a good check, right? But uh, you can still do a lot with like Earthquake. And it gets to Rock Slides really fast as well. But either way, this is the Great League for Season 6. Again, there's more Pokemon not on this list that you can use, but I wanted to show you and give you my opinions and my perspective. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys are as excited for this season as I am. And I'll see you in the next one. Hope you all have a good day. Thanks for watching. Bye.